Do you have your headphones on? You have your headphones on? Good, I'm taking mine off. <laughs> I'm actually recording this on the Fuji X-T20. I don't usually record on the Fuji X-T20. I record on the Canon. Uh, so please, I apologize if there's anything weird that happens because I don't usually use the Fuji X-T20 in for my YouTube videos. This episode is about audio. One of the reasons I'm making this video because I don't even know what levels to put the audio on and so I'm trying different things to see what the audio for the Fuji X-T20 and maybe the other Fujis can do and that way we can sort of help each other. So if you have any suggestions, of course, leave them below. All right, let me show you a little bit about the audio on the Fuji X-T20 or other Fujis and how it works. All right, for audio options, the first thing you have to make sure is that you are in a video mode. So if you're in a photo mode up here, you're gonna have to switch to a video mode because your microphone, this will be grayed out. So make sure that you switch to a movie mode. So I'm now in movie mode. And all you have to do is go to your, here, your video settings, and you can see that it says mic adjustment level two, and you can see <laughs> some movement here. I think this movement is complete nonsense. No matter what level I put it at, it always looks the same. If you really whisper like this, it'll be low. But it, even if I put it up to four, it doesn't reach the level. Watch. Reach the level. Reach the level. Reach the level. I guess it goes down a little bit. But anyway, it's not a good representation of any kind of peaking or anything, any kind of warning if you're peaking. So the default is three on the mic adjustment level. Now, if you have your camera and you go to the side, and remember you need the little 2.5 mama, and I'm gonna put that in the microphone jack there. As soon as you put it in, you're gonna get this little warning here. Little warning's gonna ask you if it's a microphone or if it's a shutter release. Uh, and we have it set to microphone, but just double check that. As soon as you plug this in, it is for microphone. Now, if you, Hold on a second. Let me get some light in here. Okay, if you do have this plugged in without a microphone, you're not going to get any sound. So if you accidentally forget to plug in your microphone, you're out of luck. So you have to make sure that you unplug this so that the onboard microphones will take over. As soon as you put that puppy in, you're not going to get any sound. Now, one thing you could do is add a microphone adjustment on the quick menu. So if you notice, I have it down here. And with the latest firmware, you can change settings with a touch. Uh, so you can change the level of your microphone input. And that's how audio works on the Fuji X-T20 and other Fujis. All right, so let's try a couple of different tests. We'll try what everything sounds like outside, office, echoey room, and we'll try together to see what sounds the best. As of this recording, I have no idea what anything sounds like, but I'll listen to everything, take some notes, and maybe tell you to my ears what the best kind of settings are, and if you have suggestions, let us know so we can learn together. Okay, so this is the Fuji X-T20 in the office, uh, about a foot and a half away at the default level of three. And so I found, I found that three is what I usually have it on, and any kind of home movies or vacation videos, three s seems to pick up enough, which is why it's the default, seems to be a good general. Let's try to lower the levels, um, and maybe it'll pick up less echo, but I don't know, we're trying this together. So let's try different levels, and I'll put everything that I'm doing on the screen to keep track of this mess. This is gonna be a lot of work. One, one, check, one, level one, one, check. <laughs> Sorry, this is the Fuji X-T20 on level one, the microphone level one in the office, and maybe we can bring up, bring up the levels later and might sound good. Level two, level two on the microphone, level two for you. Four, level four here, level four on the Fuji X-T20. Four for more. Now the audio that we'll be using in this video, first of all, the good people at Voice Technologies, they're like a professional uh, microphone audio company. Uh, put their information there. I'll also link up their information below. But Voice Technologies was nice enough to lend me a professional lav mic, which is exciting. No one's ever given me anything. The industry uses their microphones for award shows, for plays, for cool things like that, and for junky YouTube videos, apparently. So thank you guys from, um, from Voice Technologies, especially Renee for taking time to talk to me. I'm still learning, I'm still learning, and uh, look out for another video on the Voice Technologies 
professional, we'll call it professional in this one, uh, lav mic because we have El Cheapo lav mic. <sighs> this is the cheap lav mic hooked up to the Fuji X-T20 in my office. Now, where you are definitely makes a difference in the sound. This is what the Fuji X-T20 sounds like in a library. Okay, we're outside. Let's try it in that fort. And this is what the Fuji X-T20 sounds like in the kid's fort. <laughs> So this little office space, the sound bounces around all these walls and kind of gives like a little canny, hollowish sound. Wait, wait till you see the studio. The studio is like terrible echo, but we'll compare outside the studio. We'll try different sounds so you can get a sense of stuff. Shotgun Taxar microphone. We'll be using uh, El Cheapo and we'll also be using the Fuji X-T20's audio. Okay, let's put on the Taxar on top of the camera to see how that sounds. Okay, this is the Taxstar microphone shotgun pointed at my face around here. And the thing with shotgun microphones is uh, it's kind of like, you know, about two feet away. The closer the microphone, the better it sounds. Um, so that's something you have to think about if you're trying to do audio into the Fuji X-T20. It's better to have your uh, microphone like over someone's face. I'll show you right now. I'll put this really close to me. Okay, here's the Taxstar micro. Uh, blah. Okay, here's the Taxstar microphone right next to my face, and so you can see if you get closer to the microphone, you'll have nicer sound and less echo. Uh, so you usually want the microphone close to someone's face, like this. But if you were going to do a interview style, maybe using the Fuji cameras, and you're in a very loud environment and you want an interview style microphone. Well, this is called a dynamic microphone. This is the Samsung something something uh, 2QU. Hey, I remembered the name of something. Anyway, this is kind of a interview slash podcast microphone. And right now I'm recording it onto a digital recorder. And what you have to do in post is sync up the audio. We won't be testing this out. Uh, we just, I just wanted to show off this microphone. Okay, we're outside. We're outside. Sound doesn't bounce anywhere. And this is on the Fuji X-T20 level three. Le to the level default three. There's like an air conditioning unit over here. There's people in their backyard over there. So maybe you're picking up those sounds, maybe not. Uh, but let me back up a little bit. Here I'm about 10 inches away from the camera. And right now I'm about, uh, let's see, about three feet Oh, what is that? A meter. <laughs> and here I'm about uh, 10 feet, 10 feet away from the camera, 10 feet away. And uh, here we go. We're also, you know, we can check how the tracks your face. Okay, this is level one on the camera. And I'm wondering if some of the ambient, I don't know if level one will get rid of some of the like sounds that are around and maybe it picks up the voice a little more or is everything just lower? Okay, level four, the highest level input on the camera, level four. Here we are a meter away from the camera at level four. Uh, so this is about 10 feet away. What does it pick up? There's mosquitoes. All right, here's level three, level three with the tech star. Okay, this is level two, level two on the Fuji X-T20. Okay, this is level one on the camera with a shotgun microphone on there, level one with the shotgun microphone. Okay, the Fuji X-T20 set to level three and the voice technologies professional lav mic outside. There's a lot of noise going on neighbors things like that I'll bring up the lav mic a little closer okay this is level one on the lav mic level one now the cool thing about the voice technologies uh, microphone which is neat if you're filming from far away it's got a very long cord that you could just plug into the camera do you hear that racket uh, level four on the Fuji X-T20 voice technologies professional lav mic let's put the cheapo one on but I can't move far away with the cheapo one haha <laughs> Okay, El Cheapo lav mic at level one. The Fuji X-T20 set to level one. Cheapo lav mic. Okay, El Cheapo lav mic and the Fuji X-T20 is set to level two. Level two on the Fuji X-T20. I'm getting tired of saying these things. Uh, this is the default with the Fuji X-T20s at level three and the El Cheapo lav mic. All right, so this is an audio test. If you were outside recording on the Fuji X-T20 and you had a video recorder, I have the El Cheapo lav mic. You could put this in a pocket. You just have to sync your audio later, which kind of is a pain, but it gives you the freedom to move around. Do you guys ever see the broken arm trick? Broken arm trick, here we go. I broke my arm. Whoa! All right, now we're in the echoey studio. I am about an arm's length away from the lens, just so you can hear with the audio. It probably sounds horrible, but let me get closer to the microphones. This is eight inches away from the 18 to 55 millimeter. It probably still sounds terrible. 
Okay, this is the Voice Technology Lav Mic at level one, testing level one on the lav mic. <sighs> Budget lav mic level one, I think it's rubbing on my shirt. Okay, this is the test of the Taxar on camera on level two. Okay, this is level two on the Fuji X-T20, talking boomed Taxar microphone in the echoey room, level two, level two. All right, this is what the Fuji X-T20 sounds like in a humongous space. There is echo in here, but it's probably not reaching the camera. Uh, as much as the tiny room. On the cheap Techstar microphone in the humongous room to see what it sounds like if you had a shotgun mic on top of the Fuji X-T20. I just dropped the camera again for the 19th time. It's okay, it's working fine, tough little guy. Okay, this is an audio test of the Voice Technologies professional lav mic on my chest here connected to the Fuji X-T20 to see how it sounds in a really large room with some echo, but not as much as the tiny studio. This is now level one of the Professional Voice Technologies lav mic. Professional lav mic level one into the Fuji X-T20. Budget lav mic, budget lav mic level one in the humongous room. All right, the first thing I learned from this is the Fuji X-T20's microphones aren't totally bad as long as you're not in a tinny, echoey, large room, you can get away with outdoor audio. The best sounds were if the uh, levels were lower, so two and one, and if you were close to it, like vlogging distance. Echoey room seems to be, of course, the number one enemy of the Fuji X-T20 microphones. The shotgun microphone performed the best outside with the Fuji X-T20 uh, in killing like the neighbor's pool time and also in the echoey rooms, it reduced a lot of the echo if you had it boomed very close. I was surprised how well it did outside, close up, and that's probably because it's a vacation camera how I'd be using it the most. Now, as far as levels go, I think three in a distracting environment is a little too loud. I felt any uh, sample with two or one was better, uh, and what I did in the video for all the sound, it's really audio, it's really hard to edit all these levels, but if you record something at level one, it's low when you bring it into the computer, so I have to raise it so you can hear it on YouTube. I fixed all the levels for everything to kind of have the same volume across, but level one seems to reduce a lot of like the air conditioning sound and the neighbors playing and stuff. So if you have a lot of distracting sounds, I recommend one or two. Um, if you're far away from the camera, just you're gonna have to put it up to three or four to pick up the audio like 10 feet away. And lastly, what I learned is your environment dictates what the sound is gonna be like. If uh, when I was in the fort, it sounded great because you know, I was with my kids. And this is what the Fuji X-T20 <laughs> said. Why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> All right, quiet, kids. <laughs> but also just uh, the sound being absorbed by a lot of the fabric and there isn't the echoey bounce of the sound going all over the place. So your environment plays a lot, a big role in what the sound will be like. All right, if you have any questions, leave them below because this is all new to me. And if you have uh, comments to share for people looking for something like this, uh, leave them below. All right, thanks guys.